Hi everyone, my name is Matt, and I'm super excited to get to show you CleanShot version 4.4, which is an awesome update to the app that includes a few improvements, as well as one major new feature that I think people are going to love. So what's that new feature? It's called Capture History, and you can get to it either from the CleanShot menu bar icon, or you can set up a keyboard shortcut to bring it up instantly from anywhere. When I open up Capture History, all of my recent screenshots show at the top of the screen, and I can arrow through them or scroll with my mouse or trackpad. By default, it saves the last day's worth of screenshots, but you can configure how long it saves things here from the Advanced tab in the App Settings. If you don't want this feature for any reason, you can just set it to Never and it won't save any history. But what this enables is pretty awesome. For any of these screenshots, I can select them and do a couple things. I can hit the spacebar to open up a quick look and get a preview of the full image. I can hit Command C to copy a PNG to my clipboard and paste it elsewhere. I can drag screenshots from here to other apps. So for example, I could drag this image into a Pages doc with ease. And I can hit Enter to open the image in the Quick Access Overlay and do anything I want with the image from there. I can upload it to my CleanShot Cloud account, save it to my desktop, drag it somewhere, pin it to my screen, or make some annotations. What's really cool is that if I previously marked up the image with CleanShot, those annotations are still there and I can keep going from where I left off. This feature is a much more powerful version of the Restore Recently Closed option from the Quick Access Overlay, and it replaces that feature in this update. I also mentioned that I set up a keyboard shortcut to bring this up quickly, and that's set up right here, just like all other shortcuts in the app. But that's not all. We have a few other updates that are sure to make people happy as well. First is a new auto-scrolling option for scrolling captures. If you've ever struggled to scroll at the right speed for these captures, then you're going to love this because CleanShot can now just do it for you and capture everything perfectly. If I wanted to capture this website, for example, I would just start the capture, click auto scroll and let it do its thing. I can pause it by moving the mouse outside the capture area and resume by putting it back and it'll scroll until I tell it to stop or when it runs out of new content to show. Oh, and we squashed a bug in the algorithm that could potentially misalign screenshots in this mode by one pixel. No, one pixel isn't the end of the world, but we care about the details, so it had to get fixed. This update also includes an improvement to duplicating annotations in the editor. You've long been able to hold down the option key while dragging an item to duplicate it, but now you can also select a markup item and hit Command C to copy it and Command V to paste it. You can even copy from one screenshot and paste it into another. Finally, we've added a few more languages for the OCR capture feature, including Korean, Japanese, Ukrainian, and Russian, although these only work in macOS Ventura or newer. And that's CleanShot version 4.4. It's available now and includes all the features we just went over, as well as a few bug fixes and performance improvements, and we hope you love it.